Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to make a buffer using a strong base. In the previous video, we spoke about how to make a buffer using a salt. However, in this one, we're going to be speaking about how to use a strong base. To do that, first of all, we need excess weak acid, such as ethanoic acid, and then we're going to react that with a strong base such as sodium hydroxide. We know that acid plus base gives us salt and water. The salt that we're going to create is going to be sodium ethanoate. Because it's an ionic compound, it will dissociate to give us sodium ions and ethanoate ions. As for the weak acid, because it was excess, some will still be remaining. And as for the strong base, well, that's all been used up and converted into salt. Here's a visual representation of that. So on the left, we have our ethanoic acid, and on the right, we have the strong base. Let's say we had 10 moles of ethanoic acid and 4 moles of strong base. Afterwards, this is what we will have. So as you can see, the amount of weak acid has reduced, and we've also created A-, minus, which is from the salt. As for the amounts, we can see that HA has fallen to 6, and A- minus has increased to 4. Of course, the reason behind that is because we've subtracted from the original HA. So 10 take away 4 equals 6. And of course, all of the strong base converted into salt. So 4 on the left is equal to 4 on the right. The main thing, though, is to work out the pH of this buffer. And to know that, we have to know the value for hydrogen ions. What is the concentration of H plus? So remember, for a buffer, we use this formula. Ka times HA over A minus equals H plus. Once we have that, we can then work out the value for H and work out our pH. Okay, so let's try a question together. Calculate the pH of this buffer made by mixing excess weak acid with strong base. We're mixing the two solutions together to make a buffer. We've got 10 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide at one molar concentration and 25 centimeters cubed of 0.5 molar methanoic acid, which is a weak acid. The first thing we're going to do is write down this equation. Weak acid plus hydroxide is equal to salt and water. Now we want to work out the moles of each of those components before the reaction. Of course, we know that salt will be zero because we haven't made any and water Again, it's not important in this calculation, sorry. So let's start with working out the moles of the weak acid. We're going to do volume times concentration divided by 1000. Now, as for working out the moles of hydroxide ions, you first have to see what is the ratio with the strong base. Since we have sodium hydroxide, we know it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Therefore, the moles of sodium hydroxide and hydroxide will be the same. So it's simply going to be 10 times 1 over 1,000. Now, it's important to know that because if you have a strong base such as barium hydroxide, when you work out the moles of barium hydroxide, you then have to times it by 2 to work out the moles of your hydroxide ions. And then that's what you'll use in your calculations. Okay, so once we have that, we have the moles before the reaction. Now we want to know how many moles we have after the reaction. Since hydroxide is always going to be the limiting reactant, we subtract it from the strong base and we add it to the salt. And this is the moles that we have after the reaction. Next, we're going to convert these moles into concentration. So we're going to use the formula number of moles times a thousand divided by volume equals concentration. But remember, because they're mixed together, they have a total volume of 35 centimeters cubed. So we're going to divide them by 35. And this should give us the final concentrations of our strong acid and of the A-, minus, which came from the salt. Finally, we're going to use the equation to plug in the values and work out the concentration of H+. We already know Ka because they've given it to us in the question, and we now know the value of HA and A-. minus. So your equation should look like this. And the value of hydrogen ions should be 4.43 times 10 to the power of minus 5. Once you have this, all you have to do now is minus log it and you get the pH. And there we go. We've worked out the pH of the buffer. 
Okay, so if you've seen both videos, by now you should be able to make a buffer using a salt of a weak acid, and also by reacting a weak acid with a strong base. In the next video, we're going to be talking about how a buffer can minimize changes in pH. If that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.